St. Francis Regis Clet was born in Grenoble, France, on August 19, 1748, to a very devout family. He was the tenth child of fifteen. He was baptized when he was just two days old and was named after St. John Francis Regis, a recently canonized saint also from Grenoble. He followed his elder brother and sister into religious life by entering the Vincentian Order, which was founded by St. Vincent de Paul in Paris in the year 1625. On March 6, 1769, Francis entered the novitiate in Lyon. After professing his perpetual vow, on March 18, 1771, he entered the seminary. Two years later, on March 27, 1772, Francis was ordained to the priesthood. At the beginning of 1791, when Francis was 43 years old, the Vincentians decided to send three priests to China. At the last moment, one of the priests had to withdraw from the assignment, and Francis was sent instead. After a six-month boat voyage, they arrived in Macau. They stayed there for one year studying Chinese, and in the summer of 1792, were sent to the mission territory of Jiangxi for evangelization work. Upon arriving, Francis established standards so that there would be a uniform approach to ministry, both sacramental and catechetical, among the missioners. The catechumens first had to understand the teachings of the church, and secondly, had to live them out. The first year of the mission, there were 100 newly baptized persons. The following year, Francis was sent to the town of Gaoqing, which was located on the outskirts of Wuchang City for evangelization work. In 1819, a new persecution against the church started. The Diocese of Hubei was first targeted. Francis was framed by a local landowner who had animosity toward the church. He reported to an official that Francis had burned down his house. The official believed the false accusations and dispatched hundreds of soldiers to capture Francis and offered a reward for any information as well. Francis hid in fields and caves for three months, after which he fled to Nanyang City in Henan province. He then was the victim of a greedy Catholic who betrayed him for the reward. As a result, Francis was captured and was put in jail. He was repeatedly interrogated and whipped. At night, he was chained up. Since sleep was impossible, he prayed all through the night. After 10 days, he was sent to Kaifeng and then was sent back to Wuchang. On January 1st, 1820, the Governor General of the Manqing Dynasty sentenced Francis to death for the crime of evangelization. Francis prayed even more fervently in preparation of receiving his crown of martyrdom. After receiving the February 28th signed order of execution from the emperor, Francis immediately received viaticum and then was led to the execution site. Upon arriving, he knelt in prayer. He then was bound to a cross and a rope was tied around his neck. His executioners, one on either side of him, pulled on the rope. After the third time, Francis succumbed to his torture and died of strangulation. He was 72 years of age. On May 27, 1900, Francis Regis Clet was beatified by Pope Leo XIII and on October 1, 2000, was canonized by Pope St. John Paul II. St. Francis Regis Clet, pray for us. Shen Liu Gelai, Wei Woman Chida. Thank you.